Hi everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost and today we are doing the 3 in 30 minute alphabet challenge by Shabby Dabby Doo Dah letter K. K is for kite and boy this was a brain twister uh, but I'm giving it a go anyway so uh, here's my ideas and uh, let's see what we can do here. Okay, so I'm uh, going to first work with um, a thin sheet of paper because I'm going to make something out of this thin sheet of paper. And let's just take, this is a college rule paper that I just copy dyed, but it doesn't have to be copy dyed. <clears throat> Any thin sheet will do. And I'm just going to fold it up a bunch of times. It doesn't have to be perfect on the edges because we're actually not going to use the edges. So let's just fold it up, fold it up. And one more time. Oh, am, I, am I still in frame? Yep, yeah, okay, checking, checking. <laughs> okay, and this of course will have some well, little holes, but we won't worry about that right now. Okay, so here we're going to do. I'm going to attempt to cut, freehand cut a kite shape. Here we go. Oh boy, here, this is nerve-wracking. Okay, uh, cutting straight lines is nerve-wracking. Uh, oh, okay, there we go. And then we're going to go like that and then we're gonna go like uh, that okay there we go we got a bushel full of kites here now to play with awesome that was quick right we like quick and easy here oh okay we're stuck here oh, there we're free okay a couple of these have the holes in them not gonna worry about those I don't need that many anyway okay so the first thing I was going to do so I was playing with the kite shape what am I gonna do what am I gonna do and I thought well I could make a flower and uh, I've been kind of playing with how to make paper flowers that can easily be incorporated into your journals because let me just check my yep friends okay um, because the uh, bulk of the flower always became an issue but if I could make a flat flower then maybe I've got something so let's go to it so You'll know whether I completed the challenge if this video is not longer than 30 minutes. That's, I figured out also that's the best way to time this thing. Just look at the timer on the video on the bottom of the screen over here, I think it is. Okay, so let's get started. Basically, what I'm gonna do is I am going to, with my new little inker daubers, I am going to ink around, inky winky, super quinky. All right gonna let's see I think I'm gonna need possibly seven or eight of these so I'll do these quickly um, but I have lots of kites here to work with so that makes it kind of fun in case I have a you know catastrophe or something but uh, I think everything's gonna be okay because it's only paper right that's the motto all right all right, going around the town here. All right, getting lots of pink on the edges. It doesn't have to be perfect because only half of this will actually show in the end. Okay, doopy doop doop, doop doop. All right, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, almost there. All right, and we are gonna make a flower, six, I think I have two here. No? Yep, yeah, no. Okay. And we are done. Okay, this is real time, live action. No breakaway, hopefully. <laughs> Never know. <laughs> okay, so we have our petals. And basically, we're going to. I took, um, I made these a while back and I just brought these out for fun, but I thought this might be good to use as the, uh, the center of the flower. And I'm just going to take, it's basically just cut out of a, like a cardstock and uh, some book page that I glued on here and put some little stickles on the front for fun. I uh, made up a bunch of those one night watching TV. That was fun. I highly recommend making a bunch of those because you can use them for so many things like this. Okay, so here we go. Got the glue stick going. Here's the glue stick. Can you see this? I'm like guessing because I'm sitting down. Okay, now this is going to be the front of the flower. So I'm going to put this basically at the middle of my little my little thing. Can you see that? Okay. And now we're just going to go around the clock. All right. And just overlap a little. And if we work quickly, and we are working quickly because this is a timed segment, then 
everything should work out just right. Okay, going around. This is the back of the flower that you're seeing. Okay, this is pretty easy. Anybody can do this. I have high confidence that you all can complete this mission. All right, and there we go. Okay, now I'm, I'm okay, now this is the front. See, it already looks kind of cute, right? Little flower, very flat. Can put that in a journal. And um, to secure it on the back, I think I'm going to just grab any piece of paper. I just happen to have some cardstock here, but you could use any paper. Use your paper punch and cut out a circle and then just slap this on the back and that'll secure the back so it doesn't go anywhere. The little petals, petals will not fall off. All right, there we go. And there we are. We have a flat flower to go on a journal page. That might be kind of cute. You could actually draw a little stem from it, some leaves, and people could journal around it, or you could journal on the pages. That might be fun. Let's decorate it up a bit just to say we did and have some fun. Okay. I'm kind of far away. Let me take it closer. Okay. So what we could do, well, I've got the stickles out, my uh, glitter glue stickles, you know me. And uh, sometimes, if you draw these little curly bendy shapes as if you're actually looking at a curved leaf, a uh, petal of a flower, even though your petals are actually straight, it fools the eye into thinking there's curve going on there. And now we're kind of looking like a little bit like a poinsettia or, you know, other kinds of flowers that I don't know the names of. There we go. Okay, so we have that. And what else could we do? We could keep going with this. We could put some little dotties here. And how about some dotties here? And how about some dotties here? And this is kind of festive and fun. Festive. I don't know why this is festive. This is very festive. Oh, well, it could be a poinsettia, and that could be festive. Okay, we'll go with that. Um, all right, let's just put one in the middle. Oh, let's put two. Let's put four. All right, there we go. How about seven? All right. <laughs> okay, I'll stop now. All right, so there is our pink poinsettia, which I'm sure I have seen pink poinsettias, so uh, to go inside a journal, and I'm going to put that aside so I don't, you know, smudge it. Okay, number two, what am I going to do with, uh, did I announce uh, the letter? I hope I did. K is for kite, right? Okay, so whoops. Okay, no, okay. So let's say we, oh, I was practicing there. Um, here now let's back up a little bit so you can see better okay all right and uh, here I'm gonna take a thicker piece of cardboard and this piece of it's like scrapbook paper and this is two-sided you don't have to use two-sided I'm just using it for an example here but basically what I want to do is I'm gonna fold it up actually what should I do here I want to fold it up and cut Nope, let me fold it up and cut even slots. That, that, I need even strips. Yeah, here we go. Okay, let's just do this. There we go. All right. So I have a bunch of evenies in here, and um, I'm just trying to think of how many I need. All right, let's just try this. Okay. Doing the kite, cutting the kite. Well, you know what? Let me try doubling it so I can get twice as many. Might be a little thick with the scissors, but I'm, I'm going for it. Okay. That's not so bad. No, I'm stronger than I look. That's right. Okay, here we go. Ready? Get in there. Cut. Okay. <laughs> I like how Nick the booksmith says, you have one job to do. Do it. <laughs> I think she was talking to a glue stick at the moment, but okay. There we go. We were nine minutes in, and we're doing okay. We're still alive. All right, so now we're going to cut. So a kite shape is basically like a, it has, it's like a rectangle, but it's not a rectangle. But it, I think it is a rectangle, but it's not a rectangle. It's probably like a, you know, there's probably some fancy name for kite shape. But basically the bottom part is longer than the top part, but it does have four sides. So we all know what a kite is. Why am I explaining that to you? Okay, we carry on. Um, okay, so now what do we have? Because we use two-sided paper, we have different colors of kites. So these are really cute, aren't they? Really pretty. Um, so what I thought I would make out of these is another flower, but a different kind of flower. I, I'm on this flower thing, apparently. So, okay, so I'm going to take changing colors just for fun for 
Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, so this flower, instead of uh, being Im immobile, this one is going to be mobile. So uh, we are going to poke a hole in the bottom, a very tiny hole. I have this little gizmo. I don't know if you've ever seen one of these, but I have this little tiny hole puncher. But you can use an awl or a needle or something and just poke one little tiny hole in the bottom. Okay, and we, eh, there we go, and it's stuck. Yay! All right, that's why we use the expensive equipment here. Okay, got my hole, and I'm going to pop a brad in it. But before, before I pop the brad in it, I am going to ink these very quickly, very quickly. Oh, you'll be so thrilled at how fast I ink these. Watch, what color should I use now? I'm confused. I'm going to do blue. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to use my little blue. I know this is blue because I have my blue thingy. And we ink super inky fast. Inking at the speed of light. Oh, is that one? Yep. Okay. Almost done. Got a nice contrast on there with those colors. The nice thing about the two-sided paper is if you pick an ink to complement a color in one of these two-sided papers, they're often uh, complementary on both sides. Does that make sense? Like whatever color you pick should work with both sides. You can go for a completely different color that's not related at all and have something utterly amazing as well. And that's all fine. Okay. So now this little gizmo, I guess I'm going to do the backs too because I want this to be a removable, a removable thingy so that you can maybe tuck it in a pocket or, you know, you can take it out and play with it. If you use something with only um, print on one side and whiteness on the other side, then this, um, you could use make journaling space on one side and just uh, decoration on the other side. Your decoration would have to remain relatively flat though, like stamps or thin stickers, washi stickers or something like that because it's going to fold together. Okay, so here we go. All right, I have not lost my, okay, pink, blue, pinky. Okay, there we go. All right, so now let's put this all together. Oh boy, I've turned these all over the place. Now I've got to find the hole. Okay, wish me luck. All right, oh, I think I see light. Okay, we are through. So now I'm going to, made it, the hole went through, or the brad went through. And I'm just going to turn the little legs so they're all going in the same direction. And there we go. And I should probably, what time is it? I think I have, what, what am I stuck on? <laughs> I'm stuck on my spritzer. Okay, there we go. Hang on, I'm going to grab a piece of washi. And the washi is going to just tape down that little piece there. Any washi will do. Just so we don't have any sharp edges on anybody getting poked. Okay. All right, there we go. All right. Okay, so now we have this. And I, vi I visualize this as a another flower, but we're looking at the side view of the flower and the stem would come down here and you have leaves. So this little flower could fold up. You could tuck it in somewhere and then a person could do something like this. Maybe it's not a flower. Maybe it's just a, a kite spin open thing. But there we go. That's the idea. That's number two. And number three is very simple. And this is just making a little kite, uh, like a bunch of kites on a ribbon. And I've got a little green ribbon here. And I thought I would, well, since I have these, I might as well use these. Waste not, want not, right, 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 right. Okay. Now we could just do them on here like, like this. Well, let's see. We could do three. What's a good color pattern? You? How about you like that? Oh, you're kind of confusing me. Oh, I want more color. Want more color. All right, who's got what? Who's on for, oh, that's pretty. Oh, we could do this. Oh, how about this? Okay, there we go. Oh, we got, we got lots of time. We got like 15 minutes. Okay, so I'm just gonna, now how's that gonna work? That's too long. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna make our kites smaller. That's right. We're going deep here. Yep. All right, so making the kite smaller. Huh, this is gonna take some math thought. Oh boy, that's probably wrong. Okay, well, we'll just give it a go and see what happens. Okay, have it here. And then we're thinking kite shape, thinking kite shape. Come on, even, cut. Okay, hey, not bad. We got smaller kites now. Now these will fit. Okay, so let's stick these on here, but we wanna emphasize. And I guess we are inking again. And um, let's do the blue again. That seemed to show up nicely. Okay. I just need to do one side. 
And what this could be is just an edging of a book page possibly, or this could be um, maybe the beginning of a belly band, which looks better. Is this side? Okay, yes, it's this side. And, uh, or it could just be um, across the, maybe partially across the top of the page. I think down the side of the page, because this is a little bit longer. Maybe you could make smaller ones and uh, you could fit more, more little kites on here. That might be a better idea. All right, so let's stick these on here. Kites on a ribbon. All right, so now these don't look kite, totally kite-like. I want to grab my pen as I... Oh, let's give it a little thicker one. I'll show you which one I'm going to use. All right, this is more like a marker. This is this guy, Faber-Castell Pit Artist one comma five <laughs> okay and let's just do our traditional oh boy i'm going to freehand this is going to be a disaster kite shape here right. okay okay but that are we in the frame no okay there we go more in the center okay there we go and we're going to glue those babies down what kind of glue should we use let's use fabri because we're gluing onto a ribbon and that's sort of a material right so let's glue that down. Okay. And uh, kites was a tricky one. You had me there. You had me there. Um, but you know, you know, nothing ventured, nothing gained. And I think the, uh, to, for me, the fun about the time pressure is it forces you to think outside of the box where you, you know, you kind of have some ideas coming in, but when you actually get on the table and the paper and the glue and the scissors start, you know, marrying together, you know, you never know what's going to happen. Okay, so there we go. Got these basically equidistant apart. And I would say, I, I'm just going to measure this quick so we know how long we're talking here. The actual kiteage is about eight inches. So that could go down the side of a, a journal page um, as a, a side border. You could turn it into some kind of tuck or a belly band or something like that. So I'm just going to nip this little guy off the edge. Nip. And he's nipped at the top, so we're going to call you almost done. And let's do, uh, let's put some stamps on you. Yeah, yeah. I, I, uh, I got some new stamps. All right, so let's play with those. I got these stamps. Aren't these cute? These are so cute. Um, little stamps are really awesome because you can do a lot of things with them. Um, let's see. What can we do with them? We can, we can do this. Okay, it's the first time I'm using this stamp. Big test. Da 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 da. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I like that. Hey, hey. And uh, all right, we have the, this one. That's kind of cute, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Doot, doot, doot. All right. No, put them all on the same side. Yeah. Okay, that's kind of cute. I like that. All right, one more. This guy, this one. Okay, you all vote for that one? All right, we can take, we'll do that one. All right, see, I can hear you. Mm hmm. All right, here we go. Down. All right, there. Oh, that's kind of cute. Look at that. Okay, that came out better than, than I imagined. 